Yo, everybody, what's up? It's Shebler X. Today, I got a Flame Vixus. Um, this is my first Hasbro Bay. I told you I don't like Hasbro, but, to her, but uh, the real ones are just too hard. They're just too much money, so. Um. Yeah, let me go ahead and try to chop this thing open with one hand. Um. Sort of. Um, there's the bay, sort of. It's still packaging. But hard to do without you guys just saying black. Alright, there we go. Alright, there's the bay one more time. And, um, that's better. If you guys want the code, I don't care for the codes, so first person to get it just gets it. There. I'll give you about five seconds to look at it. Right there. Now it's more close to three seconds, but hey. Alright, now the Beyblade won't even come out. Alright, there we go. So I'm just going to start with the face. The face bolt, as Hasbro calls it. So, I wonder which way this goes. I think it's like a compass, I think. From what I've seen on the anime. Alright, there's that. There's Bixis. Energy, uh, clear wheel, or as Hasbro calls it, energy ring. Now, what I do like about the flame wheels, well, that looks, wow, that looks surprisingly gold in the camera. Um, but it's silver. It's just really shiny. Is it says Beyblade right there? That's really interesting, actually. The track, which still isn't out. All right, the track, which is like 240, I think. 230, 230. Right, same difference. 230. Huge. <laughs> it is the tallest bay so far. I don't watch 40 that much. I mean, I I don't really find it interesting. And WD. So I'm gonna do to my best put this together. Um so without dropping the camera, you'll never guess what it's leaning up against. Um this is gonna be hard. I do like this bay. I mean it's, I hear it's not a very good bay, but nevertheless I hardly do ever use the bays now considering well I just don't that much anymore. Um, I know you guys can't see it, but I'll try my best. Alright, where's that freaking tool at, anyways? I still haven't got the launcher out. Oh, yeah, I don't put the stickers on the Hasbro Bays, by the way. This would be a pretty... Alright, I might need the tool. Alright. Well, it's not complete yet, but it's huge. <laughs> um, so, I guess I'll go ahead and start digging into this junk. Um... Alright, so here's the packaging for the stickers. Um, what do I call these things? And rip cords, rip cord launcher, and the rip cord. Um, I might need these scissors. I know these things are hard to open. But... I got stung by a bee today, so I'm not in my best mood, but, oh gosh, oh mother, oh, there we go, alright, um, that fell, alright, let me get a second round, thank god, um, there we go, alright, there's the little, uh, ripcord launcher, the instruction booklet, stickers, look actually pretty cool. Winder, or whatever they call it, and this, which I do need to use on both. Oopsie daisies. I hate. I mean, sometimes I just hate putting bays together. Alright, guys.
This is a complete flame Bixis. The tool, the packaging, the Bixis. No, I'm not going to go for a test run. Um, this is a huge bay, though. It is the tallest bay. I think it says it somewhere on the back. Yeah, right here. Super high spin track. Or track, as we most of, as most of us know it. Again, I'll give you the code one more time. If I don't drop the camera. There it is. I don't use them at all. You guys can take it. Peace out, Jeep Letter, signing out, and bye. Bye!